this is We See Jesus for Tuesday, June 13th. This is our last little look at the authority of Christ, the authority that he has given us. So we're going to read today Matthew 28 and Mark 16, starting in Matthew 28, verse 18. It says, Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, and surely I am with you always to the very end of age. So all authority in heaven and on earth was given to Jesus. Why? Because he conquered death. He defeated, he disarmed all the power of the enemy. We read that yesterday. And all authority is given to Jesus. He says, therefore, go. This is Jesus commissioning us with his authority. It's not our authority, it's the authority of Jesus. He says, therefore, go. He's commissioning us with his authority to make disciples, to teach them to obey everything that he commanded us. So we have the authority of Jesus to do these things. I love Philippians 2. It talks about how Jesus humbled himself. He became obedient to death, even death on the cross. So therefore, because of that, God exalted him to the very highest place. He gave him the name that's above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every single knee will bow and every single tongue will confess in heaven and on earth and under the earth that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. So all knees will bow. That includes angels, that includes demons, that includes Satan himself will bow at the name of Jesus, whether willingly or unwillingly. We want to be those that bow in awe, in adoration at the name of Jesus now. But his name is all power and all authority. Uh, Mark 16 verse 15 says, Jesus said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe in my name. In my name, that name that's above every name, they will drive out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will pick up snakes with their hands, and when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. And they will place their hands on sick people and they will get well. So again, this is the command to go into all the world and preach the gospel. And Jesus is saying, these signs will accompany you. Why? Because it's the authority of Jesus. He's commissioning us with his authority. So it's his signs, his wonders, his miracles through us that, that in the name of Jesus, we can drive out demons. It's his name that drives out demons. It's his name that enables us to speak in new tongues. It's his name that can place hands on sick people and they get well. It's his name. It's his authority. But again, that original design that at the very beginning, we talked a few days ago in Genesis 1, that God created us to subdue and have dominion over all of his creation. We lost it in Genesis 3. We lost that position with, at the fall of man. Jesus died on the cross, gained that authority back, and here he's commissioning us, giving it back to the way God had originally designed it to be, that we would be those that walk in the authority of Christ and operate to bring his kingdom to earth on earth as it is in heaven. Let's pray for that. God, thank you that you have all power, all dominion, all rule, all authority. You're far above any other power or dominion. And you've always had rule, you've always had authority, but now you have given us back that position of having dominion over um, all the power of the enemy and over the schemes and the lies of the enemy and, and over the earth. And so God, we just submit ourselves to you and Holy Spirit, we ask that we would be aware of any schemes of the enemy in our life that would, that would um, be giving the enemy legal access, anything we need to repent of and turn the other way so that we can walk and the fullness of authority and be those that yield our lives to you so fully that your kingdom comes to earth through us as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen.